Sweet! Look at that. Look how far we've come, guys. Now we have an actual base going with three different water parks. What is going on, everybody? Riot here playing Subnautica today. I am starving to death. Damn it, I just began. Anyways, today we have, we have a few things I'd love to get accomplished. I know there's one thing that a lot of people have been asking me to do, and I'm sorry I haven't yet, is load the water park or fish tank. Now it's called a, now it's called a fish tank, right? Correct? A large aquarium. Load the large aquarium up with creep vine. Creep vine. Damn it, I'm all over the place. It just sounds so fancy. Now, I'm aware that I can't breed fish if there's more than 10 fish in the tank already, so I'm thinking even though my main goal should be to gather a buttload of fragments because there's, well, there's a buttload of fragments I need. I have so much stuff I need to build. I think it'd be cool if we kind of started our base today, like our actual, instead of our initial safe zone headquarters, our actual place we can call home. And the, um, the first place we're going to do that, like our first base, is going to be these little side islands over here. Where are they? Over, over yonder that way, because that's what most people suggested. So, real quick, let me go mosey on in here and put some creep vine in this baby. This is, I can't believe I haven't done this yet. This, this just looks so freaking, damn, that is, that's crazy. Oh my god, and it's so much more crabbed and homey in here. It just looks so much better. I'll bet it looks way fancy up there too. This whole thing makes me so happy. It's just, this whole place is coming together so nice. But yeah, since um, since we can't... Damn, it's bright. Oh. But since we can't um, breed with more than 10 fish in a tank anyways, that'd be another good reason to go start our base so then we could have multiple little aquariums going to keep our different species breeding. Yeah, that looks magical. That is so cool. Alright, so first thing I'm thinking is I'm gonna put some shelves on this bat. Oh! Oh! Naming the Cyclops. The major part of the episode. Okay, now I'm- um, well, well, that's glitched, but I still haven't chosen a Titan Dog- Titan Dog. I still haven't chosen a Cyclops name yet because there was four choices that all had a buttload of likes. They were all awesome in their own way. So I decided I would announce those four right here and then you guys can choose from those four. Like, there'll be one more episode where we all gather and decide because it's a really big deal, you know? Naming the Cyclops, this is- this is our- like our girlfriend for the series. T terrible, terrible phrasing, but something. All right, first submitted by or submitted by Aiden Allen is Titan Schlong. Now that's that's meant to be the child of Titan Dong, so that's why our previous one in our main my main Subnautica series that I pretty much got to know most of you guys through our our Cyclops is called Titan Dong. So his recommendation is the son of that Titan Schlong. The the next recommendation was by Cole Williams, and his was Glow Dick. Glow Dick actually had a bunch of likes too, a bunch of likes so. So right now it's either between Titan Schlong or Glow Dick, and then I, I like the I like the general vibe we're going with these, by the way. And then a bunch of people suggested Titan Dong 2.0 or Titan Dong 2, because that's that was just obviously it'd be the new Titan Dog, like the new series replacement. And last but not least, I had to go I had to go check it. It's the Dong Express by Da Pussy Slayer. So right now it's. <laughs> Right now it's between the Dong Express, Glow Dick, Titan Dong 2.0, or Titan Schlong. None of those names are references to genitals at all, I promise you. So yeah, go ahead and let me know which of those four. Those are the four final contestant names. Go ahead and vote now in the comment section. And that is how we will pick. Alright. I kind of thought that sunset was an explosion for a second. So my first goal here is to load up on a few lockers and then we're just going to transfer a bunch of resources over so I don't have to spend a bunch of time regathering stuff because that's going to be like our our, our first semi-permanent base. Oh cool, they're water bottles now. <laughs> that's so fancy. Um, yeah, cook that Gary fish. I can't wait to start our own individual species fish tanks now. Now I'm just going to have like a different water aquarium for each, for probably different multiples to be honest. The end fish tank is going to look insane. Alright. Num nums. Whoa, everything looks weird now. Or not everything, but look, copper wire, titanium, glass. It's all so new and foreign to me. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at here. Right, generally, what do we need? We just need a couple of these. I think I'm going to go with those. Quartz is a lot easier to get than glass. It's in fact one quartz easier to get. Shh, Nike, I only have glass on me. And that's how the cookie crumbles. All right, but you know, you can't double build, can you? You can, I remember doing this. Why haven't I done this before? Damn, this is like how I built in my survival series because it saves time, get it right in the middle. 
Ah, uh, you didn't get it right in the middle. It builds both of them. Here's the perfect spot. Damn it, I can't find it. Alright, time to load up on crap. I hope you're crap hungry, sir, because I have butt loads. Hey! Butt loads of crap. <laughs> I'm kind of just going to deconstruct these two right here just because I kind of need the resources and right now we only need one locker stash because I don't want to spend a lot of this episode gathering resources. Well, Not more than I have to. I, I kind of have the building bug in me and I want to get busy with it. And I'm kind of getting neat with all my stuff because you got it these days you just lose everything. I got all my basic resources stuff in there and here I put my specialties such as that kind of jazz and over here is where we put all the crap that that generally nature gave us. There we go. We have so many mushrooms. I'm so happy. Those are going to come in so much handy. Last bit of stuff. Sweet. Take some fish with us for the road. <laughs> come on, road fish. If anything, we should leave less than... We should take a bunch out of here, actually. So so they bring... Yeah, that, whatever. <laughs> it's not going to happen. All right. And we're ready to make way over to the islands. How cool has it just becomes daytime. That's so perfect. Look at that, I was like an inch from smacking the floor. Such careful driving. And we're off. This is why Subnautica would be so great as a multiplayer. Well, this among many other reasons. So when I see resources when I'm driving around, I don't know if to get out of the pilot seat, go gather them, everything. It would just be so much... Wow, this game, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed while I've been playing it, but there's so many minor updates here and there. It's getting, it's even getting prettier. But... But a pi you shouldn't be the pilot, the base defender, and the resource gatherer. We need to divide. Use the quartz. Oh, you're kidding me. Damn it, I have so much cr Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I've got to let some of you fish go. I don't know why I'm apologizing. That's probably the best news in the world to you guys. But <laughs> I'm sorry to you guys. I had to let some of the fish go. I didn't um, empty my inventory, and I'm too lazy to swim slightly over there, apparently. Man, after this episode, though, or at least this, next time we go exploring, I am definitely, I know which biomes I desperately need to go exploring in because there's, there's a few things we just, we really need a workbench so we can make a bunch of fancy stuff. We need, um, we need a water filtration machine so I can stop gathering water and salt. We need a power glide so I can get everywhere ten times faster. There's just so much stuff to work on. Creepy. I swear I hear the mermaids from Harry Potter. I'll leave that jumping paper. Or flying paper. Whatever. It's peeping, regardless. Um. Should be right. Oh, look at all the peepers rushing for air as the game lags to render them. Gotta love it. The circle of strife. Strife means to struggle. <laughs> Those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about right now. Okay, where the, where the hell is this thing? It'll just appear mystically over the distance. As things tend to. Oh, the scare- oh, hell yeah, there's a kelp biome all in between us. That's because this is where the workbench- Oh, load! This is where the workbench, as I was saying, fragment spawn. Uh, kelp biomes. So we're gonna need to come back here for sure. And there's the island. Now, some people in the comments said there's reapers around here, and I have seen them around here too. I mean, one time, when I was first exploring this island, I found a reaper there, and it was just gave me a damn heart attack because I had no idea they naturally spawn around here. But they do, so at the at the heightened awesomeness awesomeness of having our own island base, we also have a huge issue to worry about. Well as well as um there's like there's uh, what are they called? What are the damn crabs called again? Shooting blanks. I need coffee. <laughs> I need more coffee in my life. Ah! Cave crawlers! See as soon as I took a sip. There's cave crawlers all over this freaking mountain! Oh man. We're just asking for trouble. What are we doing? See, another reason I wanted to have my base here is it's- Oh, come on, it's right next to the tree biome and the forest biome, which both have their own special fragments that we need. Oh, shit, ass, I hear the reaper. We can't even go deep enough to piss the damn thing off either, so we can just kind of dock in its harbor and hope the hell it doesn't notice us. Where's that damn glass? Oh my god, I've used it. I've used it up. Alright, we must adapt. I might have dropped that on accident, dude. The logo looks like poop now. I didn't expect poop. Who thinks of poop? That was the last thing I thought was gonna happen. Um, I'm not really sure my end game here. Okay, so I want multiple of these then, because then I could have multiple aquariums, which require a lot of gas on their own. Oh, or glass on their own. Good lord. Life is done, man. We're toast. <laughs> All right, don't mind me, biters. 
which I know is an impossible task to ask of you. But you somehow were able to resist eating me. Hell yeah, you gotta, you gotta love respect. Alright, that's this is the issue with this place. Damn creep crawl. What is that? Oh bird. But we have birds here too, and that's a magical thing. Alright, so there's a wide open Ooh, if there was lithium here. Oh there is! Perfect! Oh god. Oh my god, that just is so convenient. Look at all this lithium all over the beach. Chillin' now, thank god we came here. Oh, you could hear the Reaper very clearly from right here. That'll be fun, hearing a Reaper from base. I can't really get a peek at him because all the biters everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit, ass! Oh my god, I didn't even see that thing. Oh my god, I just screamed way louder. I need that fish. I need that fish. I just screamed way louder than I should have. All right. Oh my god, my chest just tightened beyond belief right there. All right, so the water parks are going to need to be up here. Somehow, they're gonna form in just a giant star direction, I suppose. Like, there's gonna be straight up just room connected to room connected. Oh, but they're gonna all. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? You know what? Before I. Whoa, what did I press? What did I press? Weird. Before I do anything, I'm gonna save the game, though, just in case I wanna undo any work right here. Because the landscape is so perfect that I would just hate to ruin it. So, in the spirit of that. I'm gonna ruin it now. Yeah. Alright, our first one here. I'm thinking just eventually have five of these connected to each other like somewhat of a pentagram. But in no way intended to be anything like a pentagram. Yeah, it'll come together. Oh crap, I already need more titanium. What is life? Man, I remember when I first started playing Subnautica, the game was so fresh that you needed hull reinforcements when you're on land. That's why I just kind of thought of that right there. That's why I thought I would need hull reinforcements. I always go back to that, when you could literally, your your whole base would leak and flood on land. It was, it was really funny. Funny enough, someone was commenting on one of my really old videos recently, saying like, What are you doing, you jackass? You don't have to put reinforcements on Lamus. <laughs> At the time of that video, you did, and if you did it, the whole thing would flood. The water would just magically appear. Damn it! I missed the fish! Get past the biter! Get past the biter! Thank you. Ah oh, crap, going back at it. I can't wait to have a little seamoth docking stair cycle no no seamoth docking station around here. I could pick you up and breed you, I would be the biggest pimp in Subnautica. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Ah Can I grab the bird? Damn it. I'd love to make my own Ooh, we can! We can make our own uh, what's it called? What did I make before a long time ago? Like a canary? A birdhouse? I made a giant birdhouse out of a terraformer. And now, with like the propulsion cannon and the terraformer, that we could totally recreate that. I could just in a later em episode, once I have the terraformer, empty out a small hole in the mountain and just kind of put a little window seal so we could go in and watch it. And just kind of drag a bunch of birds in there with the propulsion cannon. It won't be the most humane thing to do, but holy crap would it look pretty. Alright, and the start, we'll just start off with two fish steaks right now since that's really all my broke ass can afford. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh my god, our first ever bone sharks. Oh, you bastards! Oh, never mind. That's not a good thing. <laughs> it's not a good thing at all. <gasps> oh, this is a big moment for the series right now. Oh, crap. There. Oh my god, where the hell are we? We are in some sort of... Oh, we are in... No, we should not be out at night. Bone shark hunting time. Oh, I recognize these guys. Stalkers are peaceful. <gasps> Fuller. Oh, I still need to tame some stalkers. Oh my god, we have so much to do. That's what the peeper tank will be for, for sure. That'll be the stalker feeding tank. And then I'll just have a little emptied out part where the terraformer, where they can swim in, just kind of hang out with us somewhat in base. Because the stalkers follow you once they're tamed. That'd be so awesome. Hello, little fragment. Oh no! Oh, Seamoth Fragment, damn you to hell. I don't even need those. There's so many bleeders right there, and they're all chasing Welcome the peeper. Aboard, this is vicious. Oh, that, that stalker was going for me too, man. Oh, Jesus, that was a fish. Never mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hit a boomerang and almost had a heart attack. Oh, man. This looks like a no-no zone. This looks like a no-no zone. This looks like I should have a flashlight. Or something. Or armored suit. I need armored... Oh no! Oh thank god. Oh my god, I almost lost my way out. That was so stupid of me. Holy crap, I did not like that at all. Holy crap. 
we no wonder there's freaking bone sharks everywhere you dingus you're right next to the floating islands biome this is the bone shark biome and that is fancy diamonds did not used to look like that i don't know how soon or when they changed that but back in my day they were in a mineral rock and you'd hit on it and diamonds would come out but this is there's quartz right here jesus can i grab a spade fish damn it oh no we, we can hell yeah dude hell what do i need to drop oh i need it all i can come back down to the water for fish i clearly can and all these minerals so much Welcome awesome stuff together Captain. now to just create a buttload of glass this is all i need in life now why don't you just be like five glass and all for nothing <laughs> it's that massive journey you could just get so much more done if you had a team of subnautica explorers if this was multiplayer crazy i even got a whiff that this was coming out for xbox so if it's coming out for xbox then it's it might definitely be multi i don't know man i just i want it to be multiplayer so bad that i'll believe anything at this point oh i was about to say look how pretty that looks and the reaper just interrupted me what a douche oh, ah man. bastards i hate this place <laughs> Everyone's so mean to me. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, we're now here. Sweet, get to make our first aquarium. Oh my God, this is such a big moment in my life. I guess my my third now, but the first one at the main base. It's just official. It's just looking so. Damn it, get out of there! All right, first we need some electricity. Clearly, that was a dorky move on my part. Of course, I used up all the quartz. Of course, I did. All right, we'll just have to have lighting in here in a second. <laughs> it's just. It's just not a luxury we could afford right now. And boom! Look at that! Oh, this is gonna be so sick. The fish tanks are all just gonna constantly fill themselves up. Wow. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and put another corridor right here. Where'd you go? Come on. You can do it. You can perfect. And then another room down here just for the third water for the third water third. Third water tank. Tell me we have enough. Damn it, somebody trips back to the Cyclops! Yeah, this is the perfect spot. Right here. The Reaper would never be able to access this. Oh, that's sexy. Ah, uh, not, not, not too much sexy. It was convenient, but still. Convenience can be sexy sometimes. And you just hear him so much better down here, up here. It's terrifying. Alright, room number three. Boom! Are we gonna get any pillars, or is this one just gonna float magically? Magical floatage it is! <laughs> Let me just put one connecting about right there, room, and then connect it back down there. And instead it's a square instead of a pent- I don't know, I'll figure it out once I- I'm not putting in the final room yet, because I need to get these fish tanks going, and there's- There's- I don't know, it's just- you can't- if you construct a giant base in one go, it's not gonna be as fancy as it could have looked. First things first, we need- Damn it, I used all my titanium! I'm not gonna dehydrate, you're gonna dehydrate, Cortana. Take that. Huh? You butt licker? This nonsense being thirsty all the damn time. Wait, don't I have water on me? Oh, Jesus Christ! Seamoth almost just killed us! What the hell was that? I guess, I guess we shouldn't hop out of it going at lightning fast speeds. I feel like I've learned that lesson before, but it's been a long time since I had to learn that lesson. Damn, son. Oh, shit! Oh, snap ass! Oh, my God, he appeared out of nowhere. He came from the deep. Welcome aboard, oh my Captain. god. Alright, headed back. Just need another high eye. Anybody see one? Oh my god. Oh my god. I need a source of oxygen. I mean, I need a source of liquid. Fast! Stat. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what a horrible ending to such a beautiful story. Oh my lord. I can't believe I'm not at my fish tank. Okay, I don't have time to go anywhere. If I go anywhere, I'm going to die. It's just I don't even have any creep vine on me. Oh my god, I have nothing. Okay, my only hope I can- No, it's cool. I can take some- I can take some stuff. I can cure some food. And I should survive that way. Right? Yes. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. Yes. It'll be okay. No, I can't eat any of you! Crap! <gasps> no. No. Alright, hoverfish. You're the first ones beating. I'm sorry, buddies. I can replace you. I can replace all of you, but- but I need to eat something. Oh, no crap. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, stupid. I meant to create something else that would... Why would salted food hydrate me? Think about it. 3%, that's all we're getting. We're going to die. Put everything away. Put everything away that you've ever heard about. 
I'm not losing any of this shit. <laughs> I'll keep the oxygen tank so I can find food, but I'm not losing anything if I die. Hell no, man. Except this sea moth. Oh. Oh, the ocean at night is just terribly ghetto. Terribly ghetto. There's, this is just, I don't even think I'm able to get out of this thing. There's just so much stuff everywhere that wants to eat me. I guess, ironically, I'm flying around looking for stuff to eat too, but still. Come here, little buddy. I need you to survive. I'm not gonna make it. Where's my damn sea moth? There you are. Oh my god. We're gonna die. Where's you? No! The stalker ran it out of my hand! Oh my god, the biter's eating me! Oh no! You bastard! You must make it to, to, to a spot. Make it to the Cyclops before you die, because you're gonna oh. spawn in the base. No! Oh my god! I'm dead on the next buff. I can't believe that bastard ate it out of my hand. That was my that was my last meal. No! Oh my god. Oh, we're right by it. We're right by it, baby. There it is. I'm just gonna swim right to it. Right on the surface so nothing messes with me. I had a filtered water in my inventory right here the whole Wow. Wow, I had a filtered water in there the whole time. I hate myself. This is the first time I this is the first time I've organized my cabinets in this game. That's my excuse. It's a terrible excuse and it's not really an excuse in the slightest, but I'm going to use it anyways. I think I just saw an eye eye here a second ago, but I think he might have swam away. As fish tend to do. Wow. Dude, we have the best view in the world from our base. <laughs> this is... Once that's all windows, it's going to look beautiful at night. And once it's just a giant city built into the side of a mountain, just with that sticking out the window, or with that out the window, it's, it's just going to look so nice. So freaking fancy. Where's the fish I left in here? There he is. Down in the floor. Clearly the game isn't ready for these to be outside of the water yet, but I don't know. There's nothing else I can do about it, man. Boom! Yeah, they kind of just sink to the ocean floor right now. <laughs> it's not really healthy. Can I put any of these there? Ooh! We can! There's the mushroom. And there's that! Wow, this is so laggy. It just pulls us right to the bottom. It clearly thinks we're on land, but we're not. Alright, there's the Reginald tank. I'll just... I'll just kind of imagine that's going smoothly. Right here, the spade fish! Yes! Breed! <laughs> I'll leave you too with a little creep vine cluster. And over here, do we have enough? Do we have enough? We have enough, yes, for the third fish tank. Oh my god, we almost have this entire breeding floor of the, of the base almost done. Like, there's still a good amount of resource gathering I have to do, but that's whatever. I could do that all on a trip. Just take the Cyclops around, gather earth. I, I only have one of you, so that's all it's going to be in here right now. But just imagine soon you will have buddies, I promise. That's pretty much all we can do right there. Wait, look at that. Look how far we've come, guys. Now we have an actual base going with three different water parks. Obviously, these could all be second floors, too, and then just, just to make them uh, bigger for the hell of it. Or we could have them go down a floor. Still need to put power on this place very badly. It's kind of disgraceful. I don't have it yet. But it's, it's all a process, because that's going to connect there, and that's going to connect there, and then I'll have, or maybe I'll have them connect like that. And damn it! And then like that, and then have them connect in the middle to a new one, because I want at least five. It's like the fanciest. And then on top of that, I'll have them all connect to one room, and then I'll connect to like ten down here. The finished project is going to look awesome, but I figured as we've gone like five episodes in, we haven't done a base video yet, so now we have the damn thing started. Alright, just save the game so I don't forget, because I'd kill myself. But if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. Remember to comment and pick one of those four names. We're deciding on the finale name for the Cyclops. But uh, most importantly, guys, have a nice day. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.